revising and recollecting are important for us rereading is not something which will help us and it will just result in time waste times our mind gets exhausted like uh, certain mm. times the saturation limit ex- it exceeds the saturation limit mm. and our brain is saturated at that time it's wise to take a break hello everyone welcome to arjuna group's new show success tips from topper's lips in which we interview a student who was a topper in competitive exams either je neat upsc or gate i am abhishek working in broadcom india research as a senior chip designer working for the wireless lan chips i am here volunteering for the arjuna group in the mission of spreading the culture of excellence and ethics with the spirit of selfless service today we have with us our special guest vivek narayan who was a topper of je with all india rank 310 he is from khamam narayana vijayawada that's that's where he has completed his intermediate so he is currently in first year of computer science at iit roorkee so he will share with us his success message okay welcome vivek it's great pleasure to have you uh, with us today in our edition of uh, success steps from topper slips so today it's you first of all vivek hearty congratulations to you for achieving this it's not a small achievement it's a wonderful great achievement to secure all india rank of 310 so today we have uh the topic of increasing memory and retention power first of all vivek let us know like why you chose this topic uh i chose this topic because personally when i was doing uh when i was in first year i used to read but i was unable to understand that right now for the weekend i am preparing for the weekend exam but afterwards would i forget it like if at all i forgot it what's what's the case in that case because je mains has a lots and lots of syllabus like precisely 92 chapters you just cannot remember that much so even for one chapter like rotational dynamics and that i was unable to remember so it was like i was very nervous in the initial stages i thought that uh, what i am reading won't be of any help because at last i cannot remember this much so i feel many of them to have this issue because many people want to know what will happen and how do they remember everything for je so i thought this would be a topic of particular interest wonderful, for me wonderful wonderful vivek yeah actually uh, even uh, uh, when i was preparing i used to get nightmares i used to dream that uh, i enter the examination and i completely get blank i don't yes. get the answer like that that kind of dreams i get so th- actually this is a nightmare for every student and your topic is really going to help our students definitely thank you for choosing this so so vivek so tell us on how what can we do what what can we do to increase the memory and uh, give 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 us some uh, give us the students some tips on that like uh, generally uh, i felt that revising is key but that doesn't mean like uh, during the first year itself uh, this week's topic you revise in the next week nothing like that i used to do this like uh, after uh, whole syllabus was completed i revised it at once again and after that i was like uh, revising chemistry because chemistry involves a lot of memory in fact uh, physics and maths don't involve that much memory in fact maths does involve some formulas but if you get to the core of it and you know the derivation it does not involve that much so it was mostly in organic chemistry and a part of organic chemistry which troubled me uh, for memory so i was like i used to read ncert every like uh, i had 3 months of spare time so in those 3 months i was reading ncert before also when i covered 11th and 12th i used to first read ncert and then proceed on to any other book uh, and mm-hmm. i feel that many people miss this uh, fundamental point of studying ncert because uh, even cbsc recommends ncert so it's a it's the bible of je actually so first you need to read ncert and even before exam you need to revise it multiple times like before my first mains i was already read i have i had already read four times ncert mm-hmm. around and uh, with the progression of means i was able to complete it around eight to 10 times 
and after that for the advanced i again revised it twice so ncert is very critical uh, for inorganic chemistry at least and many people feel that let's leave inorganic chemistry but that's not how it goes uh, that's where the edge lies because uh, for suppose you are getting 240 and this inorganic chemistry part carries some 25 or 30 weightage you are going to miss that thing like 240 will give you a, around 98 99 percentile for example 98.5 or something like that mm -hmm. if you get 260 you will be at 99.5 right and mm -hmm. that one percentile makes a lot of difference because it's the difference between nit surat kal and say some uh, two tire nits like mm -hmm. nit jagandhar etc so that makes a lot of difference also getting a good percentile in je means is very important like uh, for je advance you have a safer option right correct Uh, revising is the key, and also uh, revising does not mean just reading it. Like some mm -hmm. certain people do this, they just read through the lines and they say this is right, this is right, this is right. That's not the way it goes. It should be like mm. you need to remember it. So when you need to remember it, it should be uh, done like you need to remember it. Like you are the one who is giving the exam. You are not the one who is correcting the exam papers, right? Correct. So there's a very fine margin between reading and recollecting and revising. Revising and recollecting are important for us. Rereading is not something which will help us, and it will just result in time waste. Okay. So like, that like, line should be taken. Huh? And like, also, like, what do you do? Like, if you are to recollect or revise, like, what is that? Uh, recollecting involves like even we know that uh, uh, connecting with old topics will obviously give us certain edge because if at all you know P block, for example. Mm -hmm. then there are certain reactions in pre block which will be used in qualitative analysis or there are certain things which 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 are taught in coordination compounds which will be used in d block so connecting all these topics will help us a lot like uh, when you want to recollect something from coordination compounds and you already know d block you can easily connect it with that d block and you can easily retrieve the information and also <clears throat> there are uh, there's a theory which says that there are many synapses formed between these two whenever we recollect so recollecting is very important because there will be a bond formed between neurons and you will be able to retrieve it faster next time around um. also uh, there are certain mnemonics like kind of <clears throat> for the electrochemical series you have uh, like lithium gallium and that thing for that i used to remember through uh, one thing which our sir said cona sima zfpb over there k comes first then na then calcium then magnesium and so on the initial mm. things so it will be mm. easy and also boron family i was little confused i used to remember it like b a l g a i n t l right so i used to remember it like balga intel and mm. also there is a color code of resistors uh mm. that thing bp roy uh, great britain very good wife there's something <laughs> like this so those things are things which can which we can remember easily like even uh, Uh, us a uh, fundamental thing is like all silver tea cups which we use in trigonometry yes. that is what fundamental so, so those those kind of things are like uh, they stay in your brain because they are simple sentences they are not something related to chemistry or something which uh, may make us fearful of it correct also certain things like applications like kind of uh, Uh, we know that aluminium is very light, and aluminium is used in this uh, aeroplanes, etc. And stainless steel is used to make these uh, utensils and all that stuff and stuff. So certain things we can even connect with daily life, like kind mm. of bronze, these things where they are used. These things also you can connect with daily life. These applications, and also don't think that applications are just for uh, uh, reference or something like that. They ask, they ask it in J E means. Okay, <laughs> correct. So it's, it's like not to lose on things by just by huh. giving them up. Like you said, uh, huh. the inorganic chemistry part is a big one. Not to lose it because just because you can't remember it, and uh -huh. you wonderfully told about revising and recollecting, and how by recollecting uh, the neurons in the brain actually form those connections, and yes. they help yes. us uh, later on when uh, during the examination uh, to form. the full memory synapse right so that is wonderful yeah this is what we should do just like uh, the, uh, it reminds me of this example of a cow so when a cow sits it eats and then it sits peacefully and then starts uh, churning it munching it again right so it picks it up from the uh, sack and then eats it so similarly as i said 
uh, from a student life it is important that uh, we recollect it just by reading it once again may not help as i yes. said yes very so wonderful very really wonderful really and also you wonderfully touched upon this critical point of uh, revising uh, ncart uh, books yes that's been a bible even right from uh, uh, from when i started uh, my journey <laughs> so oh, yeah nice. thanks <laughs> wonderful uh, uh, vivek so but sometimes what happens is um, uh, what we, what we feel is okay i've done so much i've revised it uh, sometimes we feel hopeless students will feel that hopeless i i can't increase my memory i'm saturated i can't remember more of this so in those situations how should we prevent uh, that hopelessness what do we do suggest while so trying to like, increase the memory uh, the the thing is in the middle of anything you obviously experiences ups and downs and difficulties mm. but that doesn't mean you give up the end goal because uh, you might, you should have like uh, your end goal was that why was it like question yourself mm. it should be because of something some motivation and that motivation will help us in increasing this thing like uh, if how much ever difficulties you face still you shouldn't give up because you know that the end goal is this and what will i get if i reach that so you should weigh up weigh up on it like for you iit is more or uh, this thing is more hmm. if at all uh, definitely it's iit is more or, or, or else you won't come this side so definitely you have to increase your memory correct so it's like uh, uh, you saying you should you should keep our purpose in front of us yes. right like so i just i want to get into iit so that i can do so and so so and so so and so things yes, and also so, sometimes our mind gets exhausted like uh, certain mm-hmm. times the saturation limit ex- it exceeds the saturation limit mm-hmm. and our brain is saturated at that time it's wise to take a break because when and break doesn't mean one month or two months <laughs> it just means 3 4 days at max so okay. when you take a break your mind gets refreshed and mm. obviously that time you can easily grasp things because it's fresh whenever mm. we are we are told from when uh, from when we are small that at morning your mind is fresh that is the time when you should read and mm. all this that is not uh, in vain like that too has an effect mm. great yeah so as i said taking a break means uh, just not uh, going away from everything in fact uh, uh what i used to do is like when we take a small break we can uh, do some form of meditation uh, calming our mind or do or hearing to some music which is nice smooth soothing etc so that it's or else hear some good messages like it's like a sharpening the uh what do you call the pencil if you keep on writing at one point it become blunt right so if you take that uh, sharpener again after three days as i said uh, mind becomes fresh and then you can come back thank you uh vivek uh, for that uh, wonderful suggestion uh, so do let us know like what was your experience of reading the book art of concentration and how would you recommend this book for the students sir, like uh, in general it's very good sir but uh, uh, for my part i found what you told actually that meditation thing and exercise thing it refreshes mm. our mind and it is obviously good uh, also like i would like to stress upon the things which were told in the book like uh, mm-hmm. i felt that in the world right now we have instagram snapchat and what not these things are when uh, are meant to be used constructively but we <laughs> tend to use them in a different manner and it's uh, means many people get addicted to it so Correct. for that i felt that that books magnitude even increases mm-hmm. right now because in the time of covid we were completely in online mode and when mm-hmm. we are in online mode everything is done with phone and when everything is done with phone it just gets out of our control and mm-hmm. in this times it uh, significance is even more according to me correct correct it's like uh, uh, when we are with the technology so much once upon a time uh, technology was not so much used to uh, uh, face trouble like they used to procrastinate uh, basically mm. they used to like uh, 
think over and think over and they used to think uh, too much into the future like we we hear that uh, story right M- made she used to take a pot every uh, one day she used to take a pot and she dreamed about that if at all i keep a pottery uh, those hands will give eggs and i'll become rich and uh, suddenly that pot falls down <laughs> and uh, her dreams are shattered that shouldn't be the case for that too i felt the book would help us like even for procrastination which is certain times it happens to be a big problem for that right. also it was a great book yeah 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 so various things like as i said wonderful things like the procrastination uh, because so lots of time just goes away in procrastinating yes, or while in certain away. people are like they don't want to be distracted and they don't be distracted but uh, they think about things in the future and that also results in time waste <laughs> uh, like my friends used to be like they used to never be distracted they used mm. to sit there and they used to see the book only what are they doing they are doing they are procrastinating So correct. that happens to be a bigger problem for some too. Correct. For correct. that too, it helps. Although it although it feels that we are spending a lot of time with the book, but actually oh. we are spending a lot of time with our oh. own mind, boiling yes. away and lost. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vivek, for such wonderful suggestions that you have given. And uh, uh, I would like to uh, stress upon this point, uh, dear students. This book, Art of Concentration in the Age of Distraction, is a must for everyone. whoever wants to learn to how to go grow mentally strong uh, focus concentration how to build up all of these qualities and in fact uh, how to uh, develop uh, the memory power is like uh, only when your mind is free from all these distractions only then you can focus and only when when you can focus then you can put bring out the best out of you right in that sense this book is going to be a game changer my dear friends okay as you have heard from vivek this book is really written in a very interesting way and in fact it is available in a 16% discount you can actually click uh, below on the link in the description box to buy the book okay so dear students do let us know how you like the discussion today and if you want to have uh, some questions to be asked uh, with uh, uh toppers um like vivek do let us know in the comments section below uh, so that uh, in our future sessions in the uh, success tips from toppers slips we would be more than happy to uh, address them okay so thank you vivek thank you once again uh, for joining us thank tonight you, sir, for this opportunity and, uh, we are very very happy uh, to have you here and uh, students we will meet you tomorrow in our next episode of success tips from topper slips thank you signing off thank you sir